there's a way to make an entrance. <laughs> My destiny. It was now a conspiracy of witches. Download Veely today. Steve. Listen, Kate, I, I... I don't have to listen. I can see. So you finally got your chance after 40 years and shot him. More than likely in the back. Shot him? I found him laying right here and on my land. Sure he was on your land. Must have come through the fence to drive them sheep back on our own range and give you the excuse to murder him. Ah. I didn't have anything to do with it. Of course not. You're like all cattlemen. You just love us sheep raisers. Look. As far as I'm concerned, a rattlesnake on his stomach is higher than a giraffe on a pair of stills compared to a sheep herder. Well, I wouldn't kill a man. Take him to the sheriff, Steve. Get in your saddle, Gabby. You're making a mistake. Go on. Springs, Texas. Bullet killing Matthew Delaney, wealthy sheep rancher, fired from rifle. Gabby Whitaker, cattleman, not held. Situation nevertheless explosive. Threatening possible outbreak of old time cattle versus sheep feud. Well, I'm sure glad Gabby was cleared. But even so, it was a pretty bad break for him. That's right. And I'm afraid this is only the beginning, Roy. Looks like it. A lot of those old timers are pretty hot headed. It wouldn't take much to stir up an old fashioned cattle and sheep war. And we can't afford to have anything like that nowadays. Suppose you go down there and give Gabby a hand. Gee, that'd be great. There's nothing I'd like better than working with Gabby again. When can you leave? Right away. Good. You've got full authority. And I'm counting on you to stop this from flaring up into a real range war. Well, I'll certainly do my best. Goodbye, Mr. Wilson. Goodbye. Good luck. Thank you. Whoa! How am I 
doing? Fine, Jill. Why not? Spent most of your summers on the ranch. Still, I didn't get any chances to drive horses in San Francisco. I didn't have any cute pets like little Kathy either. I'm just waiting till your cute pet weighs 200 pounds and crawls in your lap. Kate, think I'll ever learn to do that? Why not? All it takes is a little practice, 30 or 40 years. Kate, I don't know what I'd do without you to run this ranch for me. What else would I do after working for your uncle most of our life? Don't worry, Jill. You'll soon get the hang of it. I don't know. Suddenly inheriting a ranch with thousands of sheep and a lot of trouble. Stop it! Stop that! You dirty sheep-killing coyotes! Get up! Whoa! My mind's made up. Take him. Get up. Mr. Delaney? This is the third time in two days them cattle... We don't know who they were, Mr. Prescott, but somebody's been stampeding my sheep again. Well, it's about time our sheep men took a little action. That's the way we feel about it, miss. And there's the old billy goat that started it. I ain't started nothing. Well, I'll finish plenty if you don't stay away from me. Sure. We lose sheep left and right, stampeded, run over cliffs, drowned. And it's all a big mystery to you. Somebody's been doing it, Mr. Whitaker. Somebody who hates sheep. You're darn tootin' I hate them. But you're bleating up the wrong tree, young woman. I ain't done it. I don't know nobody that has. What, sir? Get that darn thing away from me. That lamb's too young to know bad company when he sees it. Sheep herder. Thank you very much, Mr. Prescott, but I don't think I'll need your help. Yes, miss. Hello, Jill. Hello, Cole. Kate. Howdy. Cole, I want to talk to you. Oh, come on in. <laughs> Stay away from me, you walking lamb chop. I don't care what anyone says. I'm going back to San Francisco. No, Jill, you're not serious. I am serious, Cole. I love the ranch, but this mystery and trouble is... Spoiled everything for me. I never thought I'd live to see the day when a Delaney had turned coward. You can't leave. You're a Delaney. The ranch is in trouble. I know it, Kate. But what can I do? Cole, you can handle the estate as you've always done, and... Kate, you can run the ranch without me. You'd be willing to leave me here to face this alone, would you? You wouldn't care what becomes of me. Oh, Kate, you know better than that, don't you? Not from the way you're talking. All right, Kate. I'll stay another month, but if things aren't cleared up by then, I'm going. Cool. Yeah. Cat. 
Come on, get out of here. Uh, go on, you're born to hide. See was something white. Did you get them post holes, Doug? I uh, sure we did. Where'd you get the wool on your shirt? Who? Me? Wool? What are you talking about? Wool. Oh, I remember now. I I throwed away an old union suit the other day. We thought maybe you took up sheep herding. Sheep herding? Get that bag. He's even talking like one. <laughs> <laughs> Keep him warm. Warm? <laughs> It'll burn him up. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you think we'd better wake him up? Oh, that'd be kind of tough to do once he gets wrapped up in those dreams of his. Oh, he yeah, he's new. <laughs> well, maybe we'd better do it the easy way. The sandman must have passed his way and closed your drowsy eyes. And now you're in the land of nod, so won't you put me wise? What's doing tonight in dreamland? Who's walking in your sleep? Are you driving some cattle up from Amarillo? Or are you peacefully counting sheep? What's Doing tonight in dreamland What's running through your head Are the rustlers a fighting all across your pillow Or is it love on your mind instead Are you dreaming of a senorita Are you keeping a rendezvous or maybe you're chasing a big fat bandit. More than likely he's chasing you. Quiet! Quiet? He's chasing you. What's doing tonight in dreamland? Your slumber time. 
sounding mouse I ever heard. Uh, uh, Melissa Bat. Yeah, we got a lot of them around here. Uh, how do you have to drop in? Not that I ain't glad to see you. I believe you're right, Gabby. I believe that is a bat. A bat with wool on it. You know, we used to call them sheep. Uh, uh, sheep? Yeah, yeah, maybe you're right. But, uh, how in tarnation sheep get in there? The same way you got your shirt tail caught in there. Hmm? Hmm. Friend of yours? All right, I admit it. I put him in there. But he ain't no friend of mine. He followed me. Wait till this word gets around. Gabby Whitaker with a pet lamb. Roy, Roy, you can't tell the other cattlemen. They'd laugh me clean out of Texas. <laughs> well, you certainly added the feminine touch. Do you mean to tell me you tied that ribbon on there all by yourself? It ain't mine, I tell you. It belongs to that darn gal. What darn gal? Delaney's niece. She inherited the ranch. What's she like? What's all the Delaney's like? Troublemaker. Always stirring up trouble. <coughs> Wait till I throw that blame woolly out of the house. Hold it, Gabby. I want to talk to that girl. That lamb might be a good excuse for a nice friendly visit. Friendly visit? With a sheep herder? Well, I've got to talk to everybody, Gabby. Wilson wants me to get to the bottom of all the trouble. Yeah, you sure got me, Roy. I didn't have nothing to do with it, and I don't know no cattleman that did. Well, we'll start looking around tomorrow, but in the meantime, have you got an extra bunk? Sure, plenty of room. I don't know about that. Looks kind of crowded to me. Yeah. <laughs> Gabby be glad to see you. Who the heck is that? Whoever he is, he's got no business here. Looks like you got your first job cleaning up on this ranch, boys. Let's go now, but don't shoot to hit him. Now, what's the idea, mister? Didn't you see them lock gates and no trespassing signs? Well, sure, but I wanted to talk to Miss Delaney. Ah, uh, now? You wouldn't be looking to stampede some sheep, would you? Get his gun. You got me all wrong, mister. I'm from the Whirligig. Oh, you're from the Whirligig. 
We sure aim to make you welcome. Even if I am trespassing, I can prove that I'm on peaceful business. Yes, yes, I know. We got a nice little dry gulch over here where you can be real peaceful for a long time. Get him. This hombre on our range, Miss Delaney. How do you do? Okay. What was he doing, Anders? Whatever he's doing, we don't want any Rogers on this property. Not alive. Do you mind if I dismount? I came over originally, Miss Delaney, to bring back your pet lamb. Happy? Mm -hmm. Where is he? He's probably back at our ranch by now. <laughs> he's taking quite a liking to Gabby Whitaker. Gabby Whitaker? Why do you waste time talking to him for? That's Roy Rogers. His pa was one of the leading old sheep and cattle wars. Well, maybe my father was, Kate, but that's got nothing to do with me. I come all the way here from our office in Chicago to talk to you. Chicago? Mm-hmm. Your boys didn't seem to want to believe me either. Well, these are not my boys, except Anders. Anders, who are these men? I hired them like Kate told me to. I figured we'd need a few more riders to keep an eye out for troublemakers. I think it's all right, Anders. You can leave us now. Well, how about my gun? Give him to him. He ain't crazy enough to start anything here. There's one thing I'd like to try. I'd like to help you. I don't see why you should offer to help us. Don't listen to him, Jill. Them cattlemen's got tricks up their sleeves. Always has had. Kate still remembers the old days too well, Mr. Laney. But nowadays, a big concern like the Whirly Gig doesn't settle its disputes with guns. That's what you say. Mr. Rogers, if I should accept your help, what would you... I mean, what would it be? Well, not much right away. But if we forgot the old feud and worked together, we might be able to keep this thing from spreading into a serious fight. I certainly don't want that. I knew you wouldn't. Looks to me as if the first move is to get better acquainted. I'd rather get acquainted with a coyote. There's a party going on in town at the cantina tonight. That might be a good place to start. Thank you, Mr. Rogers, but I don't think I can make it. Well, I hope we've taken a step towards some kind of understanding. Goodbye, Mr. Laney. Goodbye. Goodbye, Kate. See you again. I hope not. It's a beautiful animal. Hampshire, isn't it? Yes, that's Hampshire Prince. My uncle imported him. He's our prize ram. Stop soaking. What's he care about sheep? If you decide to change your mind about tonight, I might be able to pry Gabby loose from your friend Taffy. I think maybe I'll change my mind about tonight. Go to a party with them no-good sheep killers? I don't have to go with no-good sheep killers. Besides, I might get Kathy back. Jumping bean, who buy my little bitty jumping bean? Two for a nickel and they'll tickle you to see them jump, jumping bean. Have you seen the cow? Sir, it's kind of like a deadline between us and the cattlemen. Yep. Yeah. And it's getting wider every minute. The jumping bean. You take the boogie bee and stomp it with your feet. Then just to beat the band, you beat it with your hand. You do the jumping bean. You love it when you do the jumping bean. No senorita could be sweeter when you see her jump, jumping bean. The jumping bean.
You take the boogie beat and stomp it with your feet. Then just to beat the band, you beat it with your hands. Here's the fugitive. Thank you. Kathy, you've been a bad lamb. Bad lamb. Dumb lamb. Running after that Gabby. Hello, Rogers. How are you, Cole? Mr. Rogers, now that you've crossed the deadline, won't you sit down? The deadline? I think it would be a good idea if everybody crossed the deadline. That's the first Delaney I ever saw mixed with cattlemen. And I don't like it. Next thing that Rogers will be turned into a sheep. I've got an idea Taffy has a plan in coming over to our ranch. Maybe he's trying to make friends between the two sides. Sheep never was remarkable for brain. <laughs> I want your side, Roger. I'd like to see the old feud buried. For while the time is keep it alive. Delaney. Somebody shot and killed Ham Prince. Ham Prince? That's a terrible thing to do. Ham's your prince. Why would anyone want to kill him? Ask your cattleman friend, why don't you? Why? That ram was the best sire in this district. Killing him was worse than killing a thousand ordinary sheep. Now, wait a minute. You have any idea who did it? No. But maybe you might. Yeah. You're a big shot in the cattle business. Take it easy, Burns. You don't have to go suspect, even if some cattleman is responsible. Don't you go accusing no decent cattleman, you sheep lawyer, you. <laughs> Get out of here. I hope it, every one of you. There's going to be no more fighting as long as I'm here to enforce the law. Now, <laughs> you heard me, every one of you. I swear to enforce the law, and I'm going to do it. You're going to be pretty lonesome, Sheriff. <laughs> Not too lonesome. I'm standing by you, Sheriff. Thank you, Roy. If any shooting starts, I'm on the Sheriff's side, against sheep men or cattlemen. I'm with you, sir. Most of you are responsible men with families. We can't afford to fight each other. You know what happened years ago. We can't let it happen again. Count me in, too. As Miss Delaney's representative, I'm asking all you sheep men to bring it up. Go back to your ranches. Sooner or later, the law will take care of whoever is creating these outrages. Yeah. All right, thank you, Lord. Gentlemen, all good. All right, now bring it up. And put your guns away and settle down. Glad you can help your buddies, though. Thanks, Roy. I'm stepping in. Glad you're on the right side, Cole. You sure saved me a headache. You all right, Jill? Yes, I'm all right. I could have shot that, Rogers. Kate. He proved he was sincere and didn't want any trouble. Yes, and practically took his life in his own hands to do it. Excuse me, I'll get the car. Wait a minute, Williams. I ain't through with Rogers yet, Cummins. I don't like him any better than you do. This ain't the time. Maybe not, but I ain't gonna wait too long. Come on. You know, you spoiled what promised to be the best fight I've seen since 1902. <laughs> Why, you bloodthirsty old coyote. If you don't keep quiet, I'm gonna sick that pet lamb on you. Kate, what's 
puzzles me is how they shot Hampshire Prince when Anders hired all those guards. Oh, shucks. Them cattlemen crawls in everywhere like rattlers. Kate, I've made up my mind. I'm staying. What for? You can't bring Hampshire Prince back to life. Getting worse instead of better. I don't care. I'm staying. Mr. Delaney. Yes? Mr. Gregory phoned from town. He wants you to come in and see him as soon as possible. Is that what he wanted? No, ma'am. All right. Anders, what were those special guards you hired doing last night? Weren't they on duty? It's a big ranch, Mr. Delaney, and after dark, it wouldn't be hard for a man to sneak in somewhere. All the same, tell them to keep their eyes open or they're fired. That goes for you, too, Steve. If you can't manage the job, we get a foreman that can. Delaney was laying with his back uh, this away. Do you know of anybody that would have a grudge against Delaney? Think of a dozen. Dozen? On account of the old days, you know, Delaney was a pretty tough old hombre. Killed a lot of men. Well, even if somebody did it for revenge, how would a stranger happen to be on Whirligig property? Any cattle man could ride through here. That no trespassing sign is meant for sheep men only. <laughs> Out of control. car for a while, except as a submarine. We better go up to the Whirligig and get dried out. Well, I guess this time, I'm the one who's trespassing. <laughs> Looks like it. But when you trespass, you really do a good job of it. We'll use your horse, Gabby. I hope Gabby, I mean, Mr. Whitaker, doesn't mind. Sure, sure. That is, no, no. I do the same thing for anybody. Well, I get it. You mean even for a sheep herder? Well, I, I don't know what to say, but thank you. I do want you to know, though, I mean it. I ought to thank you. I've been looking for an excuse to go swimming anyhow. Let's go. You ain't gonna leave me stranded, are you? I'll send the boys down, Gabby. Show them where the car is and have them pull it out.
like a child needs his mother to grow up strong and far. We all need a friendly hand now and then. Won't you be a friend of mine? Just like the flowers need the raindrops. Just like grapes need a vine We all need a friendly hand now and then Won't you be a friend of mine? A couple needs the moonlight as a rule To help them get some spoon and done which only proves the fella was no fool Who said two heads are better than one And just like a song needs a singer To make music divine We all need a friendly hand now and then And we along just fine if you be a friend of mine. Oh, turn that off, will you? You haven't got a job for a singing cowgirl, have you? No, but you might have a job for a... I was just thinking, Mr. Laney, that... Jill. Jill. And, uh... Hey, Roy! Where's the car, Gabby? A couple of fellers from Miss Delaney's place come by. They said they'd pull it out and fetch it back there. Oh, that's fine. Let's go, huh? Well, I'm glad you were saved some trouble anyway, Gabby. Oh, Bob, bring Trigger and a horse for Miss Delaney. I'm seeing her home. Okay, Roy. Why don't you drive over? I'll need Trigger with me. I'm asking Miss Delaney for a job on her ranch. A job? Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? You've been hiring extra guards. Couldn't you use another one? I'll work free. Yes, but I don't understand. You can't do it. Why not? The troublemaking's on the Delaney Ranch, and I'm trying to find out who's responsible. How could I pick a better place? Yeah, but working for a sheep herder. If you really mean it, Roy, I... I certainly do. Roy, I ain't gonna let you do it. Now, wait a minute, Gabby. I'm a big boy now. How about it, Jill? Well, as far as I'm concerned, I'd be very grateful for your help. Yeah, none of the cattlemen will ever speak to you again. Don't get over it. Roy. It'll be all right, Gabby. I'll send for you if I need help. Thanks for what you did for me, Gabby. That's all I needed. Go on, get out of here. Bam, moves. What's the matter with you? Don't you understand English? Go on, go away. boys. Cole Gregory sent me. Says to leave the car where she is and get back to the ranch. For what? I don't know. Except maybe it's because Rogers is there with the girl. Rogers? Yeah, and it looks like he's going to stay a spell. All right, you boys. Let the job go to Lamar. Give me that horse. Go back in the truck with the boys. Whatever you say, no good will come of having a Rogers on this place. He isn't going to bother you, Kate. He can stay in the bunkhouse with the other men. <laughs> no use, Jill. Kate will never like a cattle man if he saves your life twice a day. Saving her life ain't any reason for having him snooping around here. What was it you wanted to see me about when you asked me to come in town, Cole? It certainly wasn't to get you half drowned. I needed your signature on this packing house contract. 
Thank you. What about the car? We couldn't get it out before dark, so I had the boys knock off until tomorrow. Certainly a nuisance being without it. Let's hope it's not too badly damaged when you get it. Anders, can you go over the payroll with me now? Sure, I got the books right inside. Come along with us. See you later. I sure am disappointed and cool agreeing with you about Rogers. You know Anders, don't you, Roy? Yeah. Rogers has offered to give us a hand patrolling the ranch. Yeah, we can use hands all right. But I never figured on cattlemen fighting cattlemen. I don't know who it is we're fighting. All I'm interested in is stopping it. As we all are. Why'd you pull me off that job? We gotta get rid of that car. Wait a minute. When you got me in this, you said it'd be easy. Don't you get any ideas about quitting? You're in now and you were in from the beginning. Yes, but I didn't start it. It was you that stole money from old man Delaney and then killed him to cover up, not me. I don't seem to remember having any difficulty forcing any of that money on you, Anders. To get out of it longer. You get all you want when I get control of the ranch. When you get control of this ranch, that girl won't ever leave here. Not while Rogers is around here to help her. Maybe not. But Mr. Rogers won't be with us after tonight. And just how do we explain that he happened to get shot on Delaney's ranch? Very simple. He's been asking for a hero's death and we won't disappoint him. You guys done to Roy. <laughs> sheep herders. Female sheep herders.
Roy. Roy, I gotta talk to you. Roy, where are you? Oh. I can't talk to him. I wouldn't talk to him. You shouldn't get so familiar with your help, Miss Delaney. Roy, I've been thinking this over. I don't want you to do it. Why not? It's my idea. Besides, I've been known to take pretty good care of myself. Well, I'm sure of that, but this is my problem, and I don't want you to fight my battles. This is my battle as well as yours, Jill. Anyway, I only do it because I like moonlight rides. See you in the morning. I'm sending him up to North Fork. When he gets there now, you know what to do. Sure. All you got to say is somebody tried to raid the ranch and Rogers got plugged. We got you. All right, you men, cover the same territory you did last night. Rogers, you know where the north fork of the creek comes up by the road? Yeah. That's your stretch. Got about a mile to cover there. All right, get going. Yeah, I heard it. And I say Roy's doing the right thing. The right thing? Turned against his own side? Believing the lies them sheep raisers are spreading? It's no lie that somebody killed Matt Delaney, and they've been raiding his ranch. Roger's got no call being where he is. You're right, Cummins. Rogers has no call being where he is. Maybe somebody ought to tell him. What are you getting at? Well, I hate to see a nice guy get into trouble. Especially after what he did to me last night. <laughs> so I think I'll go out and pay him a visit. He might get lonesome out there riding around. No, he isn't, Gabby. Would you like to leave a message? Well, it's about that car of yours. There's something funny about it. You had a dream. That's what I said, young woman. And don't get too big for your boots, neither. Why, many dreams have been sent out as a warning. Well, of course, Gabby. Yes, I'll tell him when he comes back. All right. Goodbye. Gabby wants me to tell Roy about a dream he had about my car. Your car? Yes. He said it was an ill omen or something. The old goat's probably drunk. Don't be so disrespectful about dreams, Kate. They very often have significance. Significance, my foot. I win. Fifteen, two, and six is eight. That is the worst card you could have possibly played, Gold. Oh, stupid of me. I'll do better next time. Get them up, Kate. I'll see if any of the men have checked in yet. How quickly can you get that car out of the river? Any time you want it. I want you to send someone down at daylight to wreck it completely, so no one can tell what happened to it. Okay. closer.
and get your hands up and keep them up. Let them both have it. This ought to make Anders happy. Lucky break for us. Now it looks like they shot it out between them. Yeah. Let's get back to the ranch. Pretty clear who did the shooting. Williams did part of it. Rogers killed him. Sure he did. You're wrong. Yeah? We'll see about that when we get you to jail. Give me them guns. I'll report to the sheriff later. But now I've got a little business I want to attend to. You're coming with us. figure out where he went after he killed Williams. Oh, Cole, if I'd only stopped him from going. No matter what happens, I know I was right about the ranch in the first place. I'm going to give it up. Can't say I blame you. Hardly the place for a girl. You and Kate can run the place any way you like. But even sell it. I uh, haven't very much money, Jill, but I might be interested. I don't care about money as long as I can get away from here. Well, there's a bill of sale in my briefcase if you really mean it. I do mean it. My stuff's in Anders' room. I'll be right back. Hello? Roy. Don't say anything, Jill. Just listen. Yes. Yes. I understand. No, I won't tell a soul. Not even Kate. I'll be there in a minute. Goodbye. All I know is, when they thought it was dead, Brannigan said this ought to make Anders very happy. Anders? Why would Anders want to have you killed? Why would anybody want to kill your uncle? Why would they want to stampede and kill your sheep? And come to think of it, what about that accident to your car? Car? Gabby had a dream about that car. He said it was a sort of warning. Good old Gabby. Working with me even though he's against me. Just what happened to your car? How did it act? All I know is I was just riding along, and all of a sudden, I, I lost control of it, and I didn't have any brakes. Well, when Gabby and I saw you, you were traveling pretty fast. Anders said Cole wanted to see me in town right away. Cole? Would he have a reason for wanting to kill you? Roy, Cole's tried to do everything he could for me. 
He even offered to buy the ranch in spite of all the trouble we've had there. Cole wants to buy the ranch? Yeah. What's wrong with that? Nothing. It's swell. Come on. Stay where you are and you won't get hurt. didn't come loose by themselves. And they also jimmied the brakes so they wouldn't work. Then somebody really did want to kill me. Yeah, somebody from your own ranch, like our friend here. You can't pin it on me. I was only carrying out orders. Orders from Cole and Anders? I ain't talking. It's pretty clear, Jill. There never was any cattle in sheep war. Cole wanted your ranch so bad that he was willing to kill you for it. All right, get going. Roy, you'll never have a chance if they catch you. I can't shoot my witness. Stay here, Joe. You'll be all right. Got no orders to execute him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. for the sheriff? That's a funny coincidence. I was just going to say that I'm holding you and Andrew for the murder of Matt Delaney. How do you find out about Delaney? We may be bluffing, but I'm taking no chances. Leave Rogers here. Get him out of here. All right, get him out of there, boys.
I don't know whether you'll shake hands with a misguided old woman, but... Right now, you're the most beautiful sight I've ever seen. Thank you, Keith. Well, I ain't the most beautiful sight you've ever seen, but I've sure been misguided. Jumpin' Bean, 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 Jumpin' Bean,